Johann Liebert was a master manipulator who used his intelligence and charm to control those around him. His cold and calculating demeanor made him a formidable opponent who always had the upper hand in any situation. If you're watching this video, it's likely because you want the freedom of receiving desired outcomes and the freedom of knowing what people will do before they do it. I respect that, as it shows your willingness to invest in yourself for the future. Today, I'll be sharing with you how to become like Johann Liebert, the master manipulator who manipulate others to achieve his desires. However, it is important to note that the intention of this video is not to encourage malicious behavior. Though it may be tempting to use these tactics on others, I urge you to only use them if necessary and not to cause harm to others like Johan does. Welcome to being exposed. This is How to Become Like Johan Liebert. To become like Johan Liebert, you must learn to master the arts of deception and manipulation. You must understand the psychology of human behavior and use this knowledge to control those around you. To begin mastering the art of deception, you must first understand that people have inherent weaknesses and vulnerabilities that can be exploited for your gain. Everyone has insecurities, fears, and desires that can be used to manipulate them. By learning to read people's emotions, motivations, and behaviors, you can identify their weak points and use this information to control them. One of the most important aspects of mastering deception is becoming skilled at lying convincingly. You must learn to create a false reality that others will believe, whether through withholding information or presenting false information. To do this effectively, you must also be able to play different roles depending on the situation, adapting your behavior and personality to fit the desired outcome. Manipulation is another key skill that you must master to become like Johann Liebert. In order to influence others to act in a certain way, you must be able to identify the right pressure points to exert influence and use them effectively. It is also important to maintain emotional detachment from others when using deception and manipulation. Emotions make people vulnerable, so by suppressing emotional responses and hiding them from others, you can maintain control over any given situation. If you're someone who's truly committed to honing your skills in the art of manipulation, then I highly recommend checking out my book entitled The Machiavellian Tactics. This comprehensive guidebook is packed with 48 different manipulation techniques that have been utilized by master manipulators throughout history. By studying these techniques, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the psychology behind manipulation and be better equipped to protect yourself against it. Whether you're seeking to improve your own persuasive abilities or simply want to become more adept at recognizing when others are attempting to manipulate you, this book is an essential resource that you won't want to miss. A cold and calculating demeanor is a crucial aspect of becoming like Johann Liebert. It involves maintaining a calm and collected exterior, even in the face of adversity, while also being able to analyze information objectively and draw logical conclusions based on evidence. This characteristic allows Johann to stay focused on his long-term goals, avoid emotional distractions, and make strategic decisions that enable him to achieve success. Developing a cold and calculating demeanor requires a combination of mindset and behavior changes. Start by cultivating a sense of detachment from your emotions. Learn to observe them without allowing them to dictate your actions. This will help you to maintain a calm and collected exterior, even in stressful or emotionally charged situations. Next, work on developing your analytical and strategic thinking skills. Analyze information objectively, evaluate evidence, and draw logical conclusions. Focus on seeing situations from multiple perspectives, identifying underlying motives and values, and anticipating potential outcomes of different decisions and actions. Finally, practice staying focused on your long-term goals, rather than getting caught up in short-term distractions. Identify potential opportunities and capitalize on them to attain success. Anticipate problems before they arise and develop effective plans to overcome them. By doing so, you'll be able to maintain a clear focus on your objectives and achieve success with ease. To become like Johann Liebert, you must always be aware of the potential for others to betray or undermine you. This means being alert and cautious in all your dealings with others and not trusting anyone blindly. 
Johan was always on guard against potential betrayal from those around him, as he knew that anyone could turn on him at any moment. It is important to remember that people are capable of deception and betrayal, whether it be due to self-interest, envy, or simply because they have different goals or values than you. Being aware of this fact is crucial if you want to emulate Johan's mindset. You must always be vigilant in your interactions with others and not let your guard down, even with those who seem trustworthy. To develop this mindset, you need to cultivate a deep understanding of human behavior. This involves being able to read people's emotions, motivations and desires, and use that knowledge to your advantage. By understanding why people act the way they do, you can anticipate potential conflicts or betrayals before they happen, and take steps to prevent them. In addition to that, you also need to take proactive measures to protect yourself and your interests. This could involve setting up contingency plans in case of betrayal, building networks of allies and supporters who can help you in times of need, or developing a reputation for being formidable and unbreakable. By taking these steps, you can minimize the risks of betrayal and ensure that you are always in control of any situation.